It's a beautiful spring day. Great day for a walk on the beach. Well, 18,000 years ago. Back to the tail end of the last ice age, this old stretch of Highway 91 near Santaquin would have been the sandy shoreline of Lake Bonneville. Flash forward a couple years to 1990, when a group of outdoor enthusiasts were concerned as they saw the cities of the Wasatch Front expanding up into the foothills as they continue to do today. They created a grand vision of a public trail along that old beach between the city and the mountains, stretching 250 miles from the Idaho border near Logan, all along the Wasatch Front to reach Nephi in the south. It's now 30 years later. How are we doing on this great vision of the Bonneville Shoreline Trail? Are we still even working on it? Are we ever gonna complete it? My name is Brandon Plew. I'm a geographer and cartographer at BYU. That means I love to explore and I love maps. I've been obsessed with the BST ever since I was a college student here in the 90s. I currently work with the Utah Valley Trails Alliance, one of the many local citizen groups who are working to bring it to fruition. How are we doing? I want to answer that question. Over the next few weeks, I'm going to hike the entire length of the BST and evaluate the current state of the BST. No, we're not going to do it all in one shot. Do I look like I'm in that kind of shape? No, we'll take our time and we'll share what we learn along the way with you. Over the next few months, we're thinking 15 or so short episodes. I hope we'll learn a lot about the trail. It's past, present, and future. The challenge with our task is that the current BST is a mix of beautiful, well-marked, well-maintained trails. Some stretches that need some TLC, a lot of old roads, a lot of illegal social trails, and some huge gaps, all crossing a patchwork quilt of public lands owned by a variety of public agencies and private property with a variety of access restrictions. For example, this first mile that we've been hiking isn't even real BST. Although it is on public land, it's the state-owned Santaquin Wildlife Management Area. So it seems like we could get this designated and improved as a public trail. What would that take to do that? Is it worth the effort? Is this even the place where we want the trail? Does the community even want it here? Let's find out. This is a pretty stark reminder of the environment we're dealing with out here. That fence line is the edge of the WMA. So on the left-hand side, we've got wilderness, and on the right-hand side, we've got suburbia. I think we'll see that a lot out here. This is one of those myriad urban fishing ponds. Every town seems to want to have a pond where they can fish. Along the way, I'd like to learn a thing or two about the land that we're walking through. Both the natural world above the trail and the urban world below it. To help me in that quest, I look forward to having some guests join me on my walk. I would love to meet some of the volunteers and city officials who are making this trail a reality. I'd also like to meet some experts in geology, biology, public health, urban planning, and history. In fact, I'd like to meet some of you up here. So, is this gonna be a trail vlog, podcast, documentary? I, I don't know. I don't even know if it matters. I just hope it's interesting. I don't have a clue what I'm doing. But, I hope you'll join me in my quest to discover the state of the BST.